benefit of mankind. <laughs> Sport is one of the most established means of fostering togetherness and unity in any society. In a bid to unify the youths of Ifakoja local government area and give them opportunities to showcase their talents, the council leadership, in collaboration with Bet King, has commenced the construction of an ultra modern mini sports complex in Iju Ogundimu community. The foundation lane ceremony was graced by council officials, Bed King associates, and residents as they all participated in the exercise. Speaking on the project, the council chairman, Usman Amzat, said the facility will bring the entire community together and raise the standard of infrastructure in the LGA. He expressed confidence that the community will cooperate with the contractors. I tell people everywhere I go, that it is only sports that brings everybody together. It is only sports that brings everybody together, whether you are black, you are white, you are Christian, you are a Muslim, you are a pagan, whatever you are. When we get to the field, we don't, we don't even know who is seated beside us. So we realized that during our inter-world competition, everybody was happy. We were all there and we were happy together. So that is one of the things we have also decided that we will do in Ifakojai. And that dream is coming to a reality today. So by the special grace of God, it will not be the last of its kind in Ifakojai. We have started well, and uh, what we have been doing, it, it would have not been possible if not that you have been supporting us. The managing director of Bed King, Gossi Okonwoke, pointed out that the organization's ambitions are aligned with that of the Ifako Jaya Council authorities and the partnership. Adding that, the sporting complex will boost socioeconomic activities in the community and foster togetherness among the youths in the LGA. To welcome us all to this wonderful event. It's a first time event for us at Kingmakers. And I'm also happy to hear that it's the uh, same for, for the local government. Um, when I met my brother a few, a few months ago and we started our conversation and he shared with me you know, the, the, the heat uh, agenda that he had for the local government, I was uh, super happy that he aligned with our own goals at Kingmakers and Bet King um, for the development of sports and uh, youths uh, in Nigeria. You know, for us as a business in sports betting and entertainment, you know, sports entertainment, with our focus around the country, we come in, you know, we come in contact with young people, we come in contact with youths, and we come in contact with community. And something that we've seen that is very important as uh, as Bed King is that by giving back to the community where we do our business, by giving back to the people that we do business with, the people who patronize us, you know, we help with the development of uh, of sports, which leads into sports betting. You know, without sports, there's no sports betting. And by giving back to sports, we can help develop talents, we can help develop people out of different communities who can create, you know, wonderful things for their lives. The lead architect, Oyedoto Oyeni, said the complex comprises a five-a-side pitch, fitness gym, basketball pitch, volleyball court, and a spectator stand. He added that the project is expected to be completed in 25 weeks. It's um, designed on a 4,212 square meters of space. Um, it's zoned into seven, um, seven zones. We have the parking, both indoor and outdoor parking area. We have the admin uh, building. Uh, the admin building would um, support the uh, administration of the project. And it's also going to house um, a Bed King um, shop. Um, um, also, we have um, a multi-purpose um, court, which comprises of uh, basketball, volleyball, and lawn tennis um, games. Um, and um, lastly, we have um, the five-a-side five um, uh, Astro Tough, uh, which has um, viewing uh, spectator viewing stands on either sides um, of the pitch. Uh, the anticipated um, 
construction um, period uh, will be 20, between 20 and 25 weeks. Joba elect of Iju Ogundimu Kingdom, Balang Ogundimu, was delighted with the development, highlighting how the positive impacts the development will bring to the society. He assured of the community's maximum cooperation to facilitate the construction process. When the chairman discussed the issue of stadium with me, I was so great. I was so amazed because it's going to enhance a lot of things in this community. Employment-wise, employment economic-wise, so many things. We have a lot of artists in this community and we really are struggling to get a job. By the time they started this thing, they'll be, they'll be okay. They'll be given a job. The cleaner will be there by the time they finish it. The administrative staff will be there. A lot of things. And people, a lot of our youth, they will be, have a talent in this place. And this place is going to be a great stadium in this environment. You know, look at uh, Agege Stadium now. You see what is, you can see what their environment looks like now. Look at this, look, look at the small place they are using. Look at the image that area is having now. The same thing we apply to the Jews of Gudimu. I'm promising the contractor here, if possible for me to give them the phone number, I'll give them. Nobody will disturb them when they are working. There is no issue of money left fees here, no custom fees, nothing, nothing, because I'm going to give them maximum cooperation. We believe that without sports, there's no sports button. And we believe that in developing communities, we can also drive the growth of those communities, which in turn will have an impact on people. And this is beyond us just doing our business. And, um, you know, there's a thing about marriage of like minds. You, you know, like the executive chairman mentioned, you know, someone on his team had shared his uh, hits agenda around you know, youth development and all of that. And he, you know, clearly aligned with our own vision. And when you have that alignment of vision, it enables a project like this to actually kick off and, and, and carry on. And we have all the supporting people around, um, from the community to my team members, who are all working hard you know, along that common vision of developing a space where young people can engage themselves, where young people can come out in the evenings, whether it's to exercise, whether it's to you know, practice or to play sports, or even engage in maybe community five-a-side competitions that will engage them. The, the community has been very, very cooperative. It's one of the best community we have in our local government. And I know that uh, by the time the contractor start with the project, they will also say the same thing. So I don't think we are going to have a problem with the community because they've been very, very cooperative. And uh, the, the, the head of this community, who is the KBS, is someone that I know will also always be with, be with the contractors to make sure that things are done very well. The spot complex will boost the level of infrastructure and raise socioeconomic activities in Ifakojai LGA.